Chris Aarons here with a Stanley. Good strong spring tension on there. There's the bidding. It's a challenge lock pinned up by Super Llama. So we're going to see if I can get into this today. I have picked this one a few times. And, uh, open. Locked up. But I've uh, been trying to get couple of other challenge locks he sent me on camera a medico and a primus and uh, can't get them on camera I've got the medico a few times I ain't got the primus yet but I want to take a break and try something else so so I grabbed a Stanley and there we go. Good click on two. And see if I can get this one open. Since I can't get the other ones open. I'm in a deep false set right now. If I can counter. Tension a little. There's three. Here's two, I believe. No. Pull my wrench up. Right, I believe six is set. Five. Oh, there it is. It goes five. Take it and we're open. So I'll spin that around and yeah, no, I'm gonna take that out. See if I get my other set in here.
set. Oh, I have my other set of Allen wrenches in here. Let's see. That ain't gonna work. Well, just bear with me a second. Diver tools out there. There we go. A little Phillips and a little ingenuity. Come right on out of there. There we go. That worked. And then Pull that out. Let's see. My MacGyver tool here. Uh, MacGyver ain't working tonight. Well, ain't nothing wanting to work right tonight, is it? Let's see what I got back here. Knock it ball out. There we go. All right. It's another Allen wrench. And I probably. What do I do with another set? Keep putting everything down. Now that one works. Kinds of problems tonight. It's something about Llama's locks. His locks do not like me. We have a lot of problems. That worked. At least that worked out. All right, let's see what we got here. There's all the pins working. And drop them out, and it looks like looks like they're all standards. That's surprising. This is the front. Let me mark that. I always like to mark the fronts. Because I forget a lot of stuff. Not real good in remembering things. Alright, I'm going to need this set of tweezers. Because that looks like a... 
pin and pin. We'll come back to that. Number three is stuck. Down in there. Come back to number three. There it goes. Spring flew out of there. And That one went that way. And let's see if we can get three out of there. Where is it at? Right there. Alright, I don't want to do that. I really don't. Really don't want to do that. Let's see. Hmm. May have to do that. Gonna have to. I don't want to, but. I'm going to have to right, pull that out of there. There's the number. Yeah, just drop that spring. There it is. Found that one. Me and Llama's locks did not get along. All right, that number three is jammed in there good. There we go one of his wafer pen and pens or a floating wafers whatever they're called looks like every chamber in the Bible is threaded every chamber in the plug is threaded Alright, and we will, let me zoom in, lift this up here, no it's not going to work, let me do it this way, zoom in on my hand, alright, what we had here is, See if that is a pen or pen. No. Okay. Number one is a standard key pen with a single serration and has a copper spring. Number two is a standard key pen with llamas nah. with llamas floating wafer pen focus that in there there we go number three is Standard key pen with another floating wafer pen. 
Number four is a standard key pin with a pin and pin with this. I don't know what that's called. Some kind of that pin and pin is serrated too. Some light serrations on that pin. And this is I don't know what that's called. It's got texture to it. And number five is a standard key pin with another floating wafer pin. And number six was a standard key pin with a pin and pin. Let's see, number one had a copper spring. Number two looks like a copper spring. Three and four is a long steel springs. Five and six are copper springs. So that's what I got for this Stanley. There's the breakdown of this Super Llama Challenge Lock. So Super Llama, I thank you for this challenge lock. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, these pins, man, they are, they're a beast. They do hang in that threading, though. That's one thing I've noticed about them. These little, it's a bit of focus. There it goes. These ends right here hang on that threading. That's what causes them to hang up. But uh, other than that, I mean, they're still, it's still a great lot. But uh, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. And uh, y'all, thanks for watching. And be legal. God bless.